Cook with the chat app tutorial. My name is Nathaniel, and I'm going to show you how I build this web chat app, this web chat app, using only HTML, JavaScript, and Firebase. So if you're not familiar with Firebase. Firebase is a product of Google, and what it does is what's stated here, that Firebase helps mobile and web apps team success, team succeed. So they they provide um, these services for, for mobile and web developers. So you can code um, in iOS, in Android, in web, or in Unity, or in C++. So, and you can integrate it with Firebase. and I'm going to show you how I integrated my project with Firebase and it made everything easy, right? So let me show you the chat app that I built, right? So right here, I'm going to ask the user to put the name of the chat room that, that, the, that the user wants to get into, right? So I can, I can name this chat room like um, JL for Justice League right so okay i'm going to open this um, i'm going to open this same link in another web in another browser here oh, this web page also um, i'm going to put in jl justice league and it's asking me for my username my username be batman in the opera mini browser and head back to mozilla firefox Oh, okay, so I'm just going to put JL there, and my username will be um, Superman in this browser, right? I'm I'm using two separate browsers because there's some stuff like there's some variables that I'm I'm storing them in the local storage. So if I put them um if I put them in the like in the same browser, um lots of lots of errors would happen. Lots of things that I do not want to happen would happen. So Superman would say something like, um, "Hi." Click send, and we can see here. Wait, what? Um. Okay, so Batman would say, would say something like, So I can load the same link in this browser too. So I'm I'm using two separate browsers because I have because I have some variables that I'm storing in the local storage, right? So if I put them in the same browser, then I'll possibly have things that I do not want to occur. Work out. So the name of this chat room will be JL2. Um, the username in this uh, would be Superman, right? So I have Batman in the Opera Mini browser, in the Opera browser, and I have Superman in the Mozilla Firefox. So Superman is going to write something like hi. Um, click send. And right, as you can see here, it's transferring data to the Firebase database. My internet is a bit slow, so just waiting for that to respond. Okay, so we, we already have it here. So Batman can, can reply something like like um Batman right so Batman has replied something like I'm Batman and we can also see it in this browser here. And, and Superman will be like, where is Martha? Right, you can say that. And Batman will be like, yeah, so. And Batman will be like, where did you hear that name? That name. And one cent, it's sent here. So that's my easy, that's my easy web chat app that I built using HTML, JavaScript, and Firebase. 
and I'm going to show you how you can also build yours and in the description you'll find a link to the source code uh, where you can get this code so you're free to use it however you want um, and please if you have any questions please put them down in the comment section so right so I'm going to open my Visual Studio code right so Visual Studio code has opened I'm going to create a new file new file I'm going to have my normal HTML tags like doc type doc type HTML then open HTML close HTML right then after this I'm going to save it I'm going to save save as save as I'm going to save it on the desktop I'm going to save as chat app chat app dot HTML right so since I've saved as HTML now Visual Studio co code knows knows that this is H this is HTML document so it's going to um, help me how to complete some stuff right so I'm going to have some I'm going to have head tag here head tag and in this head tag I can put um, some JavaScript code right so script and in this script part of the code I'm going to have things that I want to load before the whole body before the whole body of the project loads right so before the anything in here loads I can I can um, whatever script I'm writing in here will load before anything in here before anything in this body part loads right so I'm going to have those script tags and in the script tags that's where I'm going to integrate my file that's where I'm going to integrate Firebase my Firebase project with this web app right so I'm going to head over to Firebase, um, click on get started. Firebase, click on get started. Right, so if you have no project here, you can, uh, you have to click on add project. Um, but I, I already have this project in here. So you can click on add project. You 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 have to click the name. You have to create the name of the project. Let's say the name of the project is project hug. Then click on continue. After that, click continue. Um, after that, click uh, default account Firebase. Click project so we're going to give it some space to load um, let's give it some few seconds to load Okay, so the project is ready, so we can click on continue, and Firebase will Firebase will take us to the console of that project, right? So if you haven't integrated yet with your web app, you have to click on this icon here, right? So we are, we're going to have to nickname our project. Um, Then we have to copy this script here. We have to copy this script here. After copying that script, we're going to paste it in the, in the head section of the body, right? I'm not going to 
paste it in the script tags because as you can see what I've just copied already has already has these script tags right so I'm not going to paste it inside those script tags but I'm going to paste it in the head section so I want Fabrice to load before the entire before the entire project like I want Fabrice to load in this project before this entire project that's why I'm putting everything in the head section okay